front page of Twitch momentarily. And I for today's front page activity, I have a match with another streamer, CL Smith 15. He's going to try to adopt me. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> He's higher rated, but um, I have beat him before, but in, you know, I think only once. So we'll see how that goes. Can you hear me, CL Smith? I, I, I can. You cut out for just a second there, <laughs> but I think hopefully we're going to be be good to go. Should be good enough. Once, outside, uh, yeah. Are you your uh, video I'm cut out too. Mind. Yeah. If, if we're if we keep having problems, oh, is it is it working now or is it still not working? It's working, but. Um, it's a little laggy on your part, but it doesn't mess me up per se. But if you find that it's messing you up, you're welcome to you know disconnect, and we can just keep doing the match. I don't have to have you on here. And then if if that does happen, when we're done with that game, I'll just switch scenes. So it's no big deal. We'll just try it out. I'm, I'm just gonna not stream because um, I think that like everything was working fine until I went live. So oh, okay. I'm just gonna not stream. I'm just gonna host you on my stream. Um, and we'll just do it that way because that'll be um, easier, I think. Okay, cool. That's fine. And I had I, I added, and hopefully it's working. Let me check a way to follow you from my stream. If you hover over, uh, let me see if it's working because I added it real quickly. But yeah, there's Karen ATL Chess Club, right? Yeah, or yeah, Karen ATL Chess Club, and then um. I don't see. Oh, it is on there. Yeah, there's a way for people to actually follow you from um, my stream that added this really cool extension called the dynamic follow button. Yeah. Hey, Byron Salad, how's it going? <laughs> so um, we'll give people just a second to get here, and then I'll address the front page Twitch people again. Hey, Nero. Hey, James Lyles. So I was just saying, and I'm going to say this two or three times, but hopefully not too many times, <laughs> that um, I'm on the front page of Twitch again for the next hour, and CL Smith, um, 15, a regular on Ben's stream and gets on my stream some too. I think you're a mod on my stream. And also a streamer is, we're going to have a little match here. He is uh, much stronger than me, so he's going to try his best to adopt me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not convinced at all that I'm going to be able to adopt you, but I will, <laughs> I'll give it my best shot. <laughs> well, you almost always beat me, so we'll just see. Um, I, I haven't played you in a while. Um, it's been a little while. Then after we play a certain number of games, then... Spencer's going to come analyze our games for us, and then we're going to move into um, some more Silman at the end of the stream. And um, we're going to do five-minute games. You know, I've got the top of your head cut off. I wonder if I should just let it go. <laughs> I mean, you... That's not interesting anyway. I mean, you look good. We got the most important part. It's right up to, you know, I've got probably 80% of your forehead in. <laughs> okay, well, you know, I've got a big head, so it's tough to get all of them in there. Hey, Sinbad. Hopefully you got the, uh, the Alabama uh, shirt. No, that's not in there. Roll Tide. Yeah, see how Smith, um, well, let me just first say now that I know we're probably on front page. Can Kangaroo, can you look to see if we're on the front page of Twitch? And hello. And hey, Market Sands, try not to learn, etc. Before I give my spiel again, I'm assuming that we are on the front page. But, um, and if you're not, didn't hear that or can't do it, I can check in a second too. But before we start our match. Um, <laughs> yeah, 280 viewers. Okay, we gotta be. <laughs> gotta be on the front page. Okay, so hi, hi front page Twitch people. Um, I'm Karen Boyd. I, my handle is obviously Karen ATL Chess Club. I'm about to play a match with a fellow streamer and also a mod on my stream and 
Um, don't know if you're mod on Ben's stream, but a regular on my husband's stream. And I mainly stream chess, although I have aspirations to stream some poker and also Among Us in the future. <laughs> so, yeah, that I'm looking forward to that. I think um, Chess Coach Ned will get in on it and Endo. Ben's not really interested, but maybe we can snag him as well. So um, anyway, CL Smith 15 is my opponent, as I was saying for today. We're going to play five-minute games. He's much stronger. I'm just going to try to win a game or at least draw a game. Hey, Master John, um, if people want to follow CL Smith 15, if you hover over the screen, there's a way to follow him directly from my stream. You just, um, if you're on a laptop, I don't know what it looks like on the phone, but if you're on a laptop, there's a heart and I think I have my husband Ben in there. You can follow him as well. You can follow CL Smith. I don't think I ever had so many viewers my whole life. <laughs> so yay. I, I have to um, tell you people uh, that aren't regulars, I'm not very good at chess, but um, I love chess. You don't have to be good at chess to play a lot of chess. I started chess late in life. I love it as much as the next person. I'm just not that great. <laughs> so let's get started, CL Smith. We're gonna play. Oh, um, so good. Let me get. Um, I'm in live chess. Do you want me to send the challenge? Or? Yeah, if you've got it, okay. that might be the easiest. Can, Five minute, and yeah. we can do you know rated or unrated. I don't really care. Okay, well, I guess rated. I don't know. Doesn't yeah, you put your points on the line. <laughs> yeah. Gotta have some stakes. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, good luck. Good luck. This is going to be, be fun. fun. Hopefully, I'll play better than I did yesterday on the stream. Man, I'm, that was. I'm glad I got white first, so I don't have to, you know, endure the the London attack. For <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not. Sure see lots of Londons. I'm not um as comfortable with black. There's no doubt about it. But to do what I can do. same I see you going with your battery no you beat me that way one time I think well it was painful yeah. so um, let me see what I should do about that <laughs> um, let me move my queen. Now this is not looking. I'm all squeezed in. This happens to me all the time with black. 
Man, we still got 386 people. What's up, 386 people? <laughs> Darn, you did it, didn't you? I can't really take. Yeah, taking probably wouldn't have been best there. No. Let's see. No, I'm down a pace. I can't <clears throat> really do anything about it. Darn, okay. Well, well you me... got the two bishops. <laughs> so, everything's good. Two bishops, what else? Exactly. <laughs> hey, the tall. Oh, Darn, I'm, I already messed up. Well, there's always tomorrow. <laughs> Which one is this crazy? Doesn't look too crazy. Well, I guess I'm not going to make you on that diagonal anymore. No, and I hate this bishop anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. So. I'll go here. Yeah. Let's see. Now there are other threats. <laughs> All right. What is the best thing to do? I guess I have to move my king. Okay, I think I'll take this guy. <clears throat> and let's see. Sorry I'm so quiet, people. I can't. Oh, my God. I got like 642 people. Oh, man. <laughs> You're going to be more popular than Ben soon. Yeah. Um, doesn't really make me, you know, more or less nervous, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had 660 people watching me before. So. But I am happy, you know, Actually, to, I know I <laughs> to see that. Um. For sure. Now let me see. I don't want to lose my bishop. <clears throat> but it's looking ugly. I'm not going to lie. Hey guys, hey Lords of Acid and French Empire, Pam, the Tall. Hey, try not to learn. <laughs> There's also a trying not to cheat that's popped up, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Trying to learn has inspired a lot of copy. Codes. He has. Just trying not to learn. There's Tigre on to learn. Now let me see. Can't really go there. I think uh, people in your chat maybe should start using that that clock emote for Karen. <laughs> 
Yeah, darn. I didn't even notice that it would had gotten so bad. This looks promising. Um I guess we'll just take. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I was trying to make an illegal move. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I'm just going to resign. I mean, I'm about to lose on time anyway. Good well, game. good game, except for it really wasn't that great. <laughs> All right, we'll keep going. Yeah, see, that queen bishop battery really paid off. It though. did. I saw it, but then I um, didn't take the threat seriously enough. I got to go faster. That much I you know. You were playing really fast early on. Yeah. Now we have a classic care in London. And I'm actually way faster than I used to be. Just not fast. <laughs> I do much better with, um, you know, like over the board chess long time control. Yeah, I mean, I, I know, um, I think it was on Ben the other day that he was looking at a game that you beat in 1800 over the board. Is that right? No, I drew him. Oh, it was and a draw. Thank you, Cy Bradbury. I didn't really even play that well, to be honest, but <laughs> I was really happy to draw him. I Several moves, I was just, oh my God, please don't push your deep pawn. Please don't push your deep pawn. Oh, yeah. And then I have no idea why he didn't. Um, so that was... Yeah, I think you're, you're much stronger than, than maybe your blitz rating appears, because... You do get at the time pressure a lot. I mean, I know a lot of the games that we've played, I've been losing on the board, and then maybe I'll just win on time. Mm -hmm. I have the same problem. It's, oh, really? I will be happy to tell you that I'm terrible with uh, time management. You seem pretty fast to me, but I I'm, guess I'm, everybody... I'm trying to get better, but... Uh, <laughs> that's, <laughs> why I, I, well. that's why I mainly play three-minute games. Um... Wow, we've got I've got seven hundred and eighty four um, viewers. Wow. So what's up? What's up? Twitch front page. <laughs> I'm so happy, and I want to give my uh, rep at Twitch a little shout out, Dan Chia. Nice guy. Let me see which way I want to take, and then I'll continue praising Dan Chia. And I always want to say Chia pet. <laughs> That may be, you may be too young to I know. About oh, you know those oh, things? I, I, I remember. Yeah, cha 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 uh, <laughs> I think I even got like a Chia Pet as a birthday or a Christmas present one year and just like never actually like grew it out. <laughs> I had one a long time ago. But thank you, Cy Bradbury. So I, um, yeah, so my Twitch rep emailed me and asked me, did I want to be on the front? On the front page is a new program that they call community program and um, I love to try new things so and I was thrilled because I'm only an affiliate and I'm not a twitch partner so I was happy that I was asked to do it and I think it was mainly yeah, because um, let me see I don't like that move, C.L. Smith. <laughs> it's just an A pawn. Yeah, but I don't really want to lose. <laughs> I still want to take it, but it's just an A pawn. Yeah. So, um, so anyway, the people that they asked to be part of the program are all known streamers and then me. <laughs> And I think be the reason he asked me, obviously I'm married to Ben, but I really don't think that was the main reason. I had dialogued with him before, and I think a lot of people just ignore their reps' um, emails. And oh, yeah, that's not a good idea. I um, you didn't ignore it, and 
Also, when Ben got his ban, when he got the suspension, um, I dialogued with the guy a little bit about it at that time. And so he kind of knew me. So anyway, so it was like me, he asked me, Rosen, Ben, she, you, um, some other guy I didn't know, and Andrea Botez, Botez Live, and then, you know, mm-hmm. me. <laughs> so I was like, yes, yeah, I want to do it. Company to keep, uh, <laughs> they're all, all great streamers. Yeah, and so he- hello, Twitch um, front page people. Welcome to my stream. I stream mainly chess. I'm not really the very strongest player, but I love chess. And you don't have to be a great player to stream and enjoy chess. And so forth. Let me see how to get. I think I'm gonna. I see in the chat Lords of Acid says can we get a Ben Chia padded merch (laughs) (laughs) and so um, hopefully all of you um, new people you know will follow me and my opponent CL Smith is also a twitch streamer and much better than me. I'm just going to try to win one game and be happy with that. And, you know, if I won more than that, great. Uh, let me get up here for a minute. Um... And you can follow CL Smith, my opponent, CL Smith 15, by I have the dynamic follow button installed. And if you hover over the screen, you can see a heart. You don't even have to leave the stream. You can follow him as well. Uh, fun fact, we are both fellow native, I think you're a native Alabamian, right? Yes. Yes, I am. Yep, he currently lives in Alabama. I am from Alabama. So you might detect some southern accents here. Yeah, people tell me mine isn't too bad, but I think like a lot of people, mine kind of comes out when I'm around my family and Mm -hmm. other people who have southern accents. Yeah. uh, Let's see here. I made a bad move. Um, I hear a noise. <laughs> Thank you, GM No Chance, for that donation. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do. Guess I'll just take this. Confused. Let's see. Well, that seems pretty good. Now I can't do what I was going to (laughs) do. Um... my queen there. Yeah, that's a good spot for the queen.
miss that. No, no. Oh, oof. Um. Darn. <laughs> Yeah, let me go back. I couldn't even see oh, that. Game. Before we start another one, I'm just so slow. So I just. You see how I'm slow too? Like I got into the same time pressure. <laughs> Wait, where was it I missed a mate? It's possible I'm wrong because I'm often wrong about such things. But I mean, I was just moving so so fast. Your queen and your rook. Yeah. Um. On move. Let's see. Oh, no, I was wrong. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, I figured I was wrong. <laughs> All right, well, good game. We, we can good start game. another one. I don't yeah, even have... Me, um, you do it because I don't have the little window up anymore. Thank you, uh, French yeah. Empire. Uh, Let's <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's my fault. I deserve to lose if I can't move faster than that. So I don't even... I don't even ever think in the turn it's funny to say oh you know dirty flag or whatever but you know it's blitz that's your uh, you, you should have won that one you had you totally had me there you gotta you know you gotta win any way that you can win yeah and that's just uh the way it is So I don't begrudge a dirty flag. <laughs> hey, Mr. Suez. I don't know if I've met you before, Mr. Suez, but hello. And welcome. Hey, Ubas, Ubasu. <laughs> For all you new people, you know, I'm Karen ATL Chess Club, obviously. I am a streamer. I'm not the greatest at chess. <laughs> I have a match going on with CL Smith 15. He's much stronger than me. My hope is to you know, win a game, but it's looking a little iffy. Not gonna lie. I don't know. I mean, that last one was a coin flip. <laughs> so there. Darn, I hate that loss of my F pawn. Seems like some good things are going to happen here. Hey, weird guys. Sure. Yeah. That is definitely not going to be good. <clears throat> I can't go here. So then I'll get forked yeah this isn't this is a problem yeah I think this move is still pretty good 
Yeah, because it's either mate or I lose my queen. Hmm. Guess I'll have to lose my queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew that was an issue when I got, um, All right, we'll play on. Maybe you'll Never resign. somehow die. <laughs> Not that I wish for that. Yeah, I don't like to resign, so I like it when my opponents don't resign either. <laughs> <laughs> well. Guess we can just get rid of those guys. It was going to happen whether I wanted to or not. So, nothing I can do about that. I don't have enough material on the board. <laughs> Never resign, Mr. Suez. Hey, Cheesehead. Yeah, I did get forked. I knew there wasn't anything I could really do about it once I lost the F pawn. <clears throat> I should resign. I'm going to keep playing though. <laughs> Maybe I can get a stalemate out of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not likely. Ooh, a pre move. Nice. Oh, I don't have much going on. Mm, all right, I am going to resign now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but we played out enough to get all we could get out of it. Okay, we'll just keep going. Let me see the time. Okay, we're still in good shape. <clears throat> hey, folks. Hey, Star Princess. <laughs> all right, I have to, have to work around another London. All right, let me try this line. I don't really know it, but people keep recommending it to me. Yeah, I mean, I don't even really know the London that well, so it's not like, um, it's not like you're playing, you know, Ben or Rosen. <laughs> Rosen knows the London yeah, really well. You always get good, good positions out of London against me, it seems like, so i got to figure something out. I do prefer white. When I used, hey, Kiff, when I used to play um, the Queen's Gambit oh, before I started playing the London, um, <laughs> people from London call, they asked me to stop playing their opening. <laughs> Probably because they're embarrassed that I'm playing it <laughs> and giving London a bad name. Sounds like a Bon Jovi song. Give it a little bit of <laughs> yeah. that
eyes. Wait, what did you just take? Oh, my knight, okay. <laughs> it's like, what did I have on that square? I was hoping you'd take my bishop. Yeah. My bishop's the piece that I want to get rid of. This seems a little... I think I'm gonna have to just lose that pawn. Two bishops. What else? What else? <laughs> Give me that sea pawn. <laughs> Pawn grubbed. <laughs> well, it does work though, doesn't it? You can't begrudge a pawn grubbing. <laughs> Hey, we still have 800 viewers. That's a lot of viewers. Yeah, the first weekend that we did it, um, 
we didn't get a noticeable difference. Um, no one did. Ben didn't. Rosen didn't. So I think that it, being on the front page doesn't mean you could be towards the bottom of the front page. <laughs> right, yeah. So it just depends on what events they have going on. So if they have less events going on, then you get to be higher up. So I must be higher up. <laughs> What could be more important than chess? <laughs> right. Yeah. True. I got this phalanx of pawns coming my way. <laughs> I need to win another pawn, though. Otherwise, don't know how to get the phalanx rolling. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe we'll do this. I have no nothing I can do. It's so grim. Play faster. <laughs> I'm trying to go faster. Good game, darn. Hang on one second before we start the next game. I just want to rest okay. for one second. Just make sure that people aren't sure. needing attention in the chat, which I'm sure they're not. Hey, people, how's it going? Still 800 people with a strong stomach. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, people like to see a good um, beat down. It's like the gladiators from the Roman time. They smell blood and they're all over it. <laughs> so, hey, trying not to learn. You need attention? People needing attention will get banned. Well, good. I'm glad that we have you, kangaroo. So, I was um, telling Chad at the very beginning that um, when we're done playing... We're going to play maybe one or two more games. Then Spencer's going to come in here, and he's going to um, analyze the games for us. And awesome. uh, you what? I said awesome. Yeah, and then after he analysis on my games. definitely, <laughs> and then after he analyzes the games, we're going to do some probably a uh, Silman in-game study. These games are better. The undercard, what? Over on the Chesscom channel. What does that mean? Undercard. We're we're better than the uh, whatever's going on on the Chess.com channel. Oh, <laughs> I doubt that. I don't even know what's going on. Oh, I think the um, actual the Norway tournament might be going on, unless that ended already. Yeah, I don't know what's warm going on over there. The oh, the warm-up the games. I didn't even know there was another Pog Champs. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Who's playing in it? I didn't even know that they had already... Um, the undercard is... Oh, it's a prelude to the main event. Well, cool. Wu-Tang Clan what? <laughs> is playing chess. Oh, that's got to be a joke. With GM yeah, Mari believe, Maurice I'm, Ashley, the Rizza, and the Jizza. <laughs> All right, well, let's play another one. It's a cross-promotional okay. thing with... Oh, it must be true. I think he wasn't joking. I still have no idea if he's telling the truth. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we are going to do middle games, GM, no chance ever. When we're done with the Silman 
that's actually one of the things that I talked to Spencer about um, is going doing some middle game study and in particular I want to know some middle game um, middle game stuff plans planning because that's what I really need a lot of help with. I need a lot of help with everything, but especially with middle game plans. I find myself, like a lot of low rated players, when I get to a certain part of the game, I don't really have a clear plan. And so that's what I'm hoping to get a little more help with. Well, I never play the French defense from white or black, so <laughs> you have a nice, <laughs> nice opening uh, advantage here. Well, I actually played. I, I don't don't usually play what I just played, um, but I was going to try to play like a king's gambit or something. I didn't didn't know that you played the French. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I don't, I don't really play e four. The king's gambit's pretty interesting. I mean, almost nobody ever plays that anymore that I play anyway. And I don't know if it's played at a grandmaster level or not. I don't think I don't think it is very often. I think mm -hmm. at that level, I think it's basically considered busted. But, you know, mm -hmm. for us kind of players, it's still pretty fun. Yeah. I think that's probably true. Let's see. Seven, two. Stop mate. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's an important detail. <laughs> All right. I'm not doing as bad for time. If 
But try not to learn. Yeah, I know you got to eat a lot. <laughs> You probably are still growing. I think you're only 18, if I'm guessing correctly. <laughs> Let's see. Just in case Ben's hovering around, I figured I should psych the exchange. Although it's not really an exchange sack at opening. Oh, darn. That was a plunger. <clears throat> I didn't mean to go there. But... I mean, material's equal, right? So it's not... Oh, it's pretty equal. Unless I missed something. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't mean to go there. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I got you. <laughs> This looks pretty mean. Oh yeah, that is pretty mean. Darn, I think it's I didn't see that one. That was kind of lucky. Oh, I wasn't lucky. Good game. That was a nice was mate. Mm, I don't think I'm going to win any games. All right, we're going to play one more. One more? And then... But then we're going to do the analysis. I think you're about to adopt me. I heard a noise. Well, it's got to be um, for an adoption, right? Or do I get credit for, for six if I can get six? <laughs> <laughs> what now about an adoption? What? Uh, I was saying, isn't an adoption 10? 10, 10 oh, nine? is it? I didn't know there was like, it was that um, official. I thought that if you just beat yeah, out. There's probably not any. You know, covering body over it is saying what is and what isn't an adoption. But yeah. I, I'll, I'll take credit for, for six if. Uh, if yeah, I, I mean, to me, that's an adoption. I gotta get there first. I gotta if you, be, if you win all the I'm games, that's an adoption. Hey, GM Benjamin Feingold. Yeah, the front page came through for us. Um, 
I never had so many viewers. I've had like 800 and something the whole time. Yay, go Twitch front page people. I should, um, one more time explain, you know, I'm, oh, adoption is 10. Karen ATL Chess Club, obviously. Um, and not the greatest at chess. I'm trying to win just one game against fellow streamer CL Smith 15. Then when we're done with this game, um, Spencer Feingold, National Master Spencer Feingold, my stepson, is going to come and analyze the games for us. <laughs> I get to hear everything that I did wrong, how I didn't do this, I didn't do that, <laughs> etc. Which is fun. It's how you learn. I heard a noise. Oh, that was Jim Benjamin Feingold. Thank you for this uh, 200 cent to I feel like my chair is a little bit too tall. Let me see if I can fix it. <laughs> Alright, you can take my bishop this time if you want to. Let me get, get rid of that awful bishop for me. Ah, dang. I could. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't want to take the um, bishop ch uh, cheesy chess. <laughs> hey, Pradiv Leon Leonie. <clears throat> I don't think I've seen you here before. But maybe you are here. Hey, Jack Ma Dib. that I hear a noise oh there's a hype train thank you Thaddeus 
hear some noise. Thank you, said Bradbury. I saw that too late. Darn. <laughs> trying to hurry. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to hurry. Yeah. Darn. Um, now I'm just sort of stuck. Okay, I hear a noise. There's no hope here. So let me see. Let me clean up. Well, I have a move. I guess I have to take. Um, no, I don't even have a move that doesn't. Um... Uh, good game. Good game. That one, that one was really good. I mean, that one was an interesting game. Just in the time pressure, you hung a piece, but mm -hmm. yeah, that one was that one was really tough. You kept waiting for Black to play Queen D three. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember the position, but <laughs> I'm sure I missed a lot of things. <laughs> I tried to concentrate, Cy Bradbury. <laughs> He's just a little bit stronger than me. Okay, Spencer, did you want to come in and analyze our games for us? I think we just left the front page because the numbers are dropping now. Yeah, only 700 people. <laughs> yeah. Well, it'll drop. Yeah. I missed a stalemate trick, kangaroo. All right, well... Yeah, I was starting to wonder if there were any stalemates there at the end when your king was <laughs> running up in front of the pawn like that. Yeah. Yeah, well, I still consider this to be an adoption. I didn't realize that adoption was like, um, <laughs> has to be 10. We would... I think it's right. In the, in the last position, if you play bishop g3, yeah. I take your bishop and it's stalemate. Yeah, that's what he was saying. Yeah. Partial custody. <laughs> Partial custody. There we go. <laughs> Well, let me see. I don't know if Spencer is hearing me or not. Um, so I could just go get him. He's up at the front of the club. Um, 
wow, yeah, the numbers are going way down. So that was actually very helpful to be on the front page. I don't know why the first weekend there were like zero additional numbers. Yeah, I and guess you must have been further up because I, I remember, like, I watched a little bit of um, your match with, with Chess Coach Net when you were on the front page. Mm -hmm. And it was like, it, at the top of Twitch, you know, there's featured streams. But to get to yours, you had to, like, scroll through several. So maybe you were just... The higher up. Or, yeah, like, nearer to the, to the front. Yeah. All right, well, I'll be right back. I'm just going to grab Spencer. I don't think he knows that we're ready for him. I don't, I don't have a, an over-the-board rating. Um, on on chess.com here, my blitz is like 1580. Man, I guess this puts me in charge of the gawking rabble for, for a time. That's quite a responsibility. What's up, French Empire? How are you? Insult you guys? Oh, I mean, you guys get a bad rap, so I don't want to insult you guys. Ben does that enough. That's Ben's job. <laughs> okay. I, he's in the restroom. He's, he's coming. Okay. Yeah, I guess Queen F3 would be made if Bishop G3, but it's still a pretty good stalemate trick. It could be easy in time pressure to just take that bishop. Mm-hmm. Well, let me see what the chat people are saying until we get our... I was, I was trying to uh, keep them entertained. <laughs> they, they wanted me to insult them, and I said that was Ben's job, so... <laughs> Did you want to st still stay the way we are while we analyze the games? I, I don't think you can see it, really, can you? Um, yeah, I guess that's the... Well, I mean, I can have on your stream, and I guess it'll just be like a couple seconds. Delay. delay. Um, but um, it, it's totally up to you. It's up to you because either layout works. Thank you so much, Nicholas Dojan. I mean, I, I, I those 1, to stay on because I, I mean, I might have questions for Spencer. That's true. Um, I don't know if there's a, standpoint, you know. I don't know if there's a way to see the same um, analysis board or not. So you could actually um, see it on your screen and hear him talking. That might be possible. When he gets in here, I'll ask him because he, he would know better because yeah, he's okay. used. Well, yeah, either way is fine. I mean, I'll, you know, if, if it's easier, I can hang up and just be in the chat and ask questions that way. Yeah, it's, yeah, we're losing viewers, French Empire. <laughs> well, that's because, um, you know, we were, I was only on the Twitch front page for just one hour. But, um. Oh, thank you for those 100 centidus, the tall. I just now saw it. And I apologize if anybody did anything and I didn't notice. It's hard to play chess and attend to the chat. <laughs> but um, I don't know what it's taking Spencer so long. It must be a, a situation in the restroom there. <laughs> you know, to put it delicately. Um, but hopefully he'll emerge soon. Um, <laughs> training a Pokemon. Training a Pokemon, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We still have 600-something viewers. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's awesome. I haven't had quite enough viewer average to make Twitch partner yet. Um yeah, I hear that's a pretty tricky thing to do. I'm, I'm nowhere near that realm, so I haven't started thinking about that. But. Well, early on, um, the average was, um, it has to be 75 or higher, you probably know this, for 30 days or more. And um, I actually had that at the time that I submitted, to. I did submit to be partner and I got rejected. But the only reason I submitted was when I logged in there to the, Twitch dashboard, it said I should apply, that I had achieved, oh. achieved everything. Thought, oh, I didn't think I had enough. So I clicked it, and it's real easy to apply. But then what happened was it dropped enough over the subsequent, it took them like six or seven weeks to process it. And by then it had dropped a little bit. So it just wasn't quite high enough average uh, yeah. anymore. 
And I, th- no, and I, I don't. There's even. Sorry, I no. was say, I've heard there's people that that they average seventy five for a while and they still don't get it because. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's some nebulous process to me. But. It is kind of nebulous, and I think that um. I know that Hans Niemann got rejected the first time, but he he replied right before his channel took off, and oh, um, yeah. I think he applied a little too soon. All right, I'm going to go check on Spencer again. I'll be right back. Okay. French Empire likes the fool bishop emote. That is a that is a pretty good emote, I think. I like the fighting king emote. Do I prefer playing black or white? I prefer white. White's better. I mean, I think in this match, I... The white games were much easier when it was black and Karen was playing the London and, you know, she had her opening prep. That was much more difficult. I did not come good if I didn't or something. My hair was so messy. Oh, no, so wet. It was, like, greasy and snacky. It was bad. And it's crazy because I want... Do you want this closed? Yeah, you can close it. It was crazy because I washed it, like, last night. Oh. It was, like, 18 hours ago, maybe. Yeah, her position in the last game was really good, I thought. <laughs> They're gonna think it's funny. So Spencer's hair is wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what was taking a little long in the restroom. I'm sorry. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> I, I thought you'd still be playing by now. No, and and I didn't win any games, so bummer for me. This doesn't make sense. It's a six zero. Well, we didn't. I didn't realize adoption meant exactly ten. 10. Yeah. Well, I I didn't really want to play that long. Um, I mean, I guess we could have. Yeah, that, I, I realized afterwards it has to be 10. I'm still going to call it a semi-adoption. All right. <laughs> still fill, filling out the paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so, um... Hey, it's the Master John LC TV. TTV. Is it blurry or no? It doesn't look too blurry to okay. me. So, I don't know. Is there a way that he that uh, C.L. Smith can look at the same analysis board? I don't really know how that works. No. Um, we can figure it out. Otherwise, he can just watch it. A you you bit had delayed. a lot of viewers and still do. Yeah, huh? well, we're lo- slowly losing them. Wet hair Saturday. <laughs> I didn't want to knock on the door because you know I didn't want to interrupt anything you know personal going on in there. <laughs> I, I didn't, understand. Didn't know it was just hair wedding. Right, that's all it was. <laughs> I could have knocked for that. Let's see. Can I like invite people? Access private. Yeah, I've got the stream on, and it's only like a two or three second delay, so... It's oh, it's fine. fine. Right, if we can't find a way to do it. Okay. Right, we'll start with this game, I guess. The most recent one. Um, Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't matter to me. I don't know. It might make sense to go in order, though. But Okay, we can go in yeah, no- let's go normal in order, order let's go instead order. of reverse order. Yeah, let's do that. I didn't see any of the games... I mean, I saw, like, parts of it, but I was, you know, I was busy. Yeah, I guess next time I should have done, like, a full 10 so we can have a real adoption. Yeah. <laughs> this is our uh, correspondence game. Yeah? Yeah. Against me, you played here. Which I don't think that's a great move. Oh, you don't? I think I played that, that move, though, in one of these games, too. So, uh, you know, generally when uh, white plays this move order, it, it's to play knight e2. Uh, which he, he didn't care to do that, which is fine. But that's a lot of times why white plays this particular move order. Now we can play knight e2. Whereas, like, here's my point. A lot of times people will play, like, a Nimzo Indian move order. Mm-hmm. And then white doesn't want to play the Nimzo Indian, maybe. So they play knight f3. Now when we do this, haha, you played knight f3, so you can't play knight e2 in the position where mm-hmm. C.L. Smith could have. But he still decided not to, which is fine. Like I said, you don't have to. Right. But that's an option that white is afforded with this move order. Oh, I see, yeah. So this is still theory. Rook c1 is probably not the most accurate move. White should play h3, knight f8, Bishop f4, knight e6, bishop h2. There are a lot of games like this. g6, queen c2, knight g7, bishop f5. 
that's the plan uh, that you can get your bishop out. I think white's better in this variation though, but just a little bit. And white's plan is to play b4, b5. There are a lot of Karpov games like this. Mm -hmm. So you could play like this rook or that rook, b4, b5. And black's idea is to defend this one pawn the whole game and then not lose because you only have one weakness. Remember in the Silman book, we were talking about two weaknesses, mm -hmm. the principle of two weaknesses. But one weakness, that's you can defend that. Just defend it with everybody. Two weaknesses, he'll oscillate between them. But here he can't do that. It's only one weakness. So there are a ton of games that like this. And Karpov would have this with white, and he'd win anyway. Nigel Short would have this type of position with black, and he'd draw all the time. So rook c1, I don't really know. That seems a little inaccurate to me, but probably not a huge deal. Knight f8's probably best. So he's going up for the fancy, uh, the fancy queen and bishop on you, huh? Mm -hmm. Fancy pant pantalones. <laughs> h6. I tell you about this almost every time you play exchange queen's gambit declined. Stop <laughs> playing h6. It weakens your white squares too much. Specifically f5. Mm -hmm. When you play h6, you can't play g6. I mean, you can, but you don't want to play h6 and g6. Okay. What you want to do is just play g6. All right. So <clears throat> you can still play the same idea. Knight e6. He can't, he doesn't want to play this probably, he'll go here. And then g6, knight g7, bishop f5. You want all your pawns on white squares, so you trade white square bishops. That's normal strategy. Normal positional play. When you go here, now your white squares are weak. So even if you do trade white square bishops, you have a problem. And he can try to get his knight here, which is a problem too, because you don't want to play g6 anymore. Okay. And he went back here. That's not right. You went here and then back. What's going on there? Go here or something. Well. Oh, you had a problem with that? Well, I didn't want to double my pawns. You mean him taking? Yeah. I would dream of that with black. Yeah. I would only, yeah, I would like have to bribe my opponent. <laughs> like, hey, here's five bucks. Will you play bishop takes g6? Yeah, give me two bishops. Secure my, my white squares. Yeah, that'd be great. I would love that. Okay. I mean, sure, you do get double pawns. So I'm not going to deny that. But I'll take two bishops. This is his best way. Look at that bishop. Yeah, it is. He doesn't nice want to give that up. He would. I, I, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he'll tell you he wouldn't play knight takes. I mean, bishop takes g6. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> I mean, that bishop's too yeah. strong. A3, so he wants b4, I guess. All right, so now there's a little pressure. He did play b4. Yeah, white has a pleasant position. Mm hmm. Nothing too serious. That looks like an interesting... It felt move. scary to me. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little scary. I mean, he's got pressure here on your yeah. white squares and on this. He can play b5 later. Yeah. And you can't really do anything. Which is uh, displayed when you play queen f8, e7. Yeah. Not I that I blame you, but... <laughs> Then he played here trying to punish you, which that was, looks like a good way to do it. <laughs> He's trying to get, get right. your pin going, got the rook lined up with you. Yeah, this is very scary. Probably queen e7 was bad, huh? Yeah. It's tough to recommend a good move. I, I, yeah. It would be better. Wouldn't it be better if it was like that? Yeah. That would be way better, right? That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. And he stopped you from going here, which is pretty rude. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know what I would play with black here. I mean, I guess I'd still play g6. Because <laughs> it's like, what else are you going to do? <laughs> are people saying stuff in the chat? Like about how I'm dumb? No, no. Just that I'm smart. Okay, good, good. Takes. Takes. Yeah, now you're in a little trouble here. He doubled you up. Ah, this is this is worse than a double up, isn't it? Because you're getting mated. Yeah. Oh no. Let's see, how could you have defended that? I don't know. I, by then I couldn't figure out what to do. It might be too late. Yeah. I guess you could try g5. Mm hmm. Yeah, you could try g5. Also, you could just do nothing. It's like a Hail Mary. <laughs> you could play this. <laughs> this is the move you love to play. So now it's not check. So if he does take, you can do that. And play this position. I don't know, you could still take here yeah. and mess you up. Yeah. 
just try and you know something. <laughs> G5 looks like it's playable because if he plays knight G5, you're winning actually by taking the rook. Um, if he plays this with check, oh no no, well, your rook is loose. I forgot about that. Mm. Dang it. So G5 loses. So King F8 might be the move to not lose material, but it's ugly. Mm -hmm. Now after Queen F8, it's over. But yeah, your white squares were weak as predicted. And that lost you the game, even. Yeah, it did. And here's a fork, oof, etc. Mm -hmm. Tough first game. But yeah, I mean, you wasted some time playing knight f8 and back, and then you were in a passive position there. You played mm -hmm. queen e7 and back to f8 and back. So yeah, I mean, it was tough. You didn't have a plan. And he uh, he got a really good attack against your king on the white squares, mm -hmm. mostly. I'm pivot. I just don't want to hit you. Oh, good. Right. You're not even on there. So that's fine. Where was I last night? That's true. I was too busy working last night. I had to have my father mm -hmm. step in for me. Yeah, well, and I, yeah, because I was on the um, Twitch, so I wanted to do something special on the front page. Otherwise, I just would have streamed by myself. <laughs> This one looks like you were winning, but lost on time, I guess. Uh, yeah, game two was... Is this the one that I lost? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was heartbreaking. I'm so slow. All right, so, Karen, will you tell me what kind of setup Black is going for here? Um, what do you mean, what kind of setup? Well, the King's Indian Oh, setup. King's Indian. Yeah, this is like how Black plays at a King's Indian. Okay. I, yeah, yeah, I know it's a King's Indian, but I what you were... Oh, that's what I mean, yeah. This oh, okay. is a setup that black would play in a King's Indian defense. Mm -hmm. um, when your opponent plays in a King's Indian style, this is these are the last things you worry about. Because okay. you don't know what he's going to do yet in the center. King's Indian's a hyper-modern opening. He hasn't defined what's going on in the center. Okay. Now, he's already played the move d6, which means that he's threatening knight h5, where you can't play bishop e5. So that's why this is a good moment to play h3. Okay. This is a great moment. When they're playing a King's Indian setup and d6 is played. Because then you can't play bishop e5. I know I know you told me that before. I just didn't remember. That's all right. <laughs> now the way that he... Oh, sorry. sorry did you have something to interject there? So sure. If they don't play h3, should I be playing knight h5? I would say yes. You know, like bishop e2, knight h5. Seems right. I kind of don't know what to do against the London. I just play the King's Indian because that's what I do against D4 in general. Right. So. <laughs> yeah, well, this is something to do. <laughs> definitely, definitely. A lot of Super GM games go like this. I'd recommend you to play uh, with B6, like here, Knight D7 even, and B6. I think that's uh, a nice way to play. You know, a pretty classy way to play. But knight bd2, so here's the problem with that. Um, against a normal setup, like let's say we'll do this and they'll play like, they wanna play e5. That's like the normal way to play in a king's Indian defense. Mm -hmm. So queen e8 is actually the most common move, although I just recommended b6. Uh, but if they play queen e8, e5, the idea for white is to play c4, knight c3 and attack on the queen side. Cause he's gonna like try to go ham on your king side. Right? A lot of times people even play e4, it's a mistake. You just play queen e7. And then you want to attack on the queen side. You want to play rook b1, b4, b5. Now usually you don't play c4, knight c3 in a London, but it's the best way to play if they play like a king's Indian defense and they play with e5. Okay, and then why was e4 a mistake? This is an That's idea. a good question. I mean, a lot of people do play e4 anyway. Yeah, I know. You play knight d2. The problem is that unlike a normal king's Indian defense, uh, where white gets checkmated on the mm -hmm. king side. That's not going to happen here. Your bishops are doing a great job defending. They're just too good at defending. And it's very difficult for black to get anything going against your king. And e5 actually, or e4 rather, it, it takes away a pressure against the center. And it also opens up for your bishop. So you, when you play like a break like c5, your bishop's going to be very active. Mm-hmm. And so this is, uh, a lot of people will play, like, even strong players, like, pretty strong players, will play like this with black. I always considered it just to be incorrect. Um, and, and that black should play uh, 
a little bit more positionally. Queen e7, rook e8, c6. You know, they, you've got plans with black, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I always thought it was kind of tough to play black here. <laughs> That's why I recommended b6. Mm -hmm. So, I have another quick question. Sure. Um, why, why is black playing queen e8 instead of rook e8? Rook e8 and e5 would lose a pawn because your rook on e8 will be overloaded. <laughs> like that, overloaded rook. I think this is how the game went. All right, this happens. You played C, knight c6. This happens sometimes in that case, too. But yeah, that's why you have to play queen e8, e5, queen e7. Instead of. Uh, it would be great if you could play rook e8, e5, queen e7. Save a tempo. But uh, you can't do that because of tactics. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. So, my, my main point is you want to keep this steady because in that variation you wanted to play c4, knight c3. But sometimes you do want to play c3. Like, let's say he goes, uh, or you play h3, I, you know, I like that more accurate move. And then he plays with c5. This is a moment you'd like to play c3. Mm -hmm. You know, you usually meet c5 with c3. And black can play this like knight c6 and bishop e6, or knight, or they could play b6, bishop b7, which is what I like to do. Or I play a little different move order, I play c5 earlier, it hardly matters. So knight d2, now if I had black in this position... I would say, ha ha, she can't, well, not literally, but, you know, in my head, I'd be going, ha ha, she can't play knight c3, right? So then I would play castles queen e8 and e5. I don't even have to play queen e8, by the way, because you blocked your queen. So if I had black, I would castle like he did and just play rook e8. Yes, knight c6, fine. Yes, exactly right. See, this is the best way for him to play, because you're not going to play c4, knight c3 anymore. You're not going to get queenside counterplay okay so he's gonna be at least equalizing here and yeah you can't do the trick where his rook is overloaded because you blocked your queen with the knight so you can't take twice here and his rook is overloaded mm -hmm. that's not happening why not allow knight g h5 then bishop g6 and open the h file yeah i mean you could do that but you'll just lose the bishop pair that's all gm no chance ever you know, you don't want to lose the bishop pair. Opening the h file is fine, but bishop pair is usually more important than that. You took with the c pawn. That's interesting. Yeah, I generally would take with the e pawn because the bishop is sort of blocked here with all these pawns. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, if you you could take with the c pawn if you want to play knight c three, but you can't do that. Obviously, she already played knight d two. <clears throat> so, and it's, is it mainly because of the bishop on that long diagonal that I should um, take with the e-pawn? Yeah, I, I would think that that yeah. makes sense, but I don't know. I mean, this is kind of an unusual pawn structure now, mm -hmm. trading the e-pawn for the c-pawn, so I, I don't know much about it. So I can't say for sure, but I would like your knight to be here if you did play c-takes. You know, I per wouldn't you prefer your knight on c3? That seems better to me mm -hmm. than d2 in this yeah. case. So I would play e-takes just to justify my knight's placement, really as well as blunting the bishop. That's, uh, you know, Indo-Queen's favorite type of bishop. <laughs> <laughs> this move's probably not best, because now you just have to give up two bishops, and I think white's better now. What would I do? Hmm. I don't know, this seems kind of tempting to me. Yeah, sometimes as black, I just, like, I don't know what I'm doing with my light squared bishop, so I'm just like, whatever, I'll just trade the thing off, even if I have to trade it for a knight, at least then it's not, like, on some awkward square doing nothing. I kind of like your bishop right where it is. I think oh, he okay. looks pretty good. I mean, the only problem is your rook on a8's not in the game then. Yeah. But I would think you can, you can try to take this bishop still, maybe knight h5, bishop h4. I don't know, I don't love that for black. I think I would... Well, so you have potentially you have a backwards pawn here, right? That's potentially a problem. So if you move your knight, you could play c6, d5. You know, maybe like this, knight f5, c6, d5 is a good idea. I don't know. It's just something I'd think about. It weakens e5 is a problem, but at least you won't have ever have a backwards c pawn, which could happen. Yeah. But yeah, I don't like to give up the bishop pair. I mean, isn't white better here? Look at this bishop. You don't even have a white square bishop anymore. Yeah, white's looking really nice here. B6, 
I don't I don't really understand B3. Um I felt like I was just I was trying to I was worried about the bishop. This yeah. one? Yeah. And so I was just trying to get it on white squares. Mm-hmm. So I don't have to babysit the pawns. Sure. I'd probably uh, try to double and triple up here. Because you got a half open file. And this is, like I said, potentially a backwards pawn. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I'd, I'd make some move like maybe queen c2. Also, queen a4 looks good. Rook up somewhere. I don't like rook c2 because then maybe he could play knight b4. But, and I don't know, maybe rook c3. Although it's just kind of eyeballed by the bishop there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I would love to play like, for example, queen a4, rook c2, rook fc1. Just put a ton of pressure on these points. Then you could accentuate your white square bishop. And then all these arrows, he's got to be in trouble. <laughs> you know? It's always a bad sign. Yes. It'll make him quiver, all those arrows. Get it? Quiver? I got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good one. Come on. That was good. All right. Shakespeare would love it. <laughs> a4, is that a mouse slip? Because I, I kind of thought you'd play a3. What did I do? Oh. A4. Yeah, I was um, happy about a4. <laughs> yeah, his knight is just like really relieved about that. I'm sure he was expecting this move, and then he would go back? Oh, no, he'd play here. He'd probably play here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was thinking knight, knight d5, and I like wasn't sure if I could do knight d3. That looks a little risky. All right, rook c3. Uh, I don't know where you're going. Yeah. <laughs> Here, the problem with this is uh, potentially e4, though. I mean, what if she just plays e4 here? This looks like this isn't good for you. I mean, either yeah. square you put your knight's not great. Yeah, I, I think after a3, you just have a great advantage. His knight doesn't really have a great square. Maybe even back is the best move. Mm -hmm. Because knight bd5, e4 looks really good for white. You just got a ton of space, two bishops, extra center pawn. Everything's coming up Millhouse. <laughs> a4, now his knight's great here because it can't get kicked away anymore. It's yeah. like on an outpost. Double knight. Did you think I'd like that move? <laughs> I wasn't thinking about you in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, you should be, because I would not like that move. I mean, I get that his knights are all up in your business. Yeah. But, come on, your bishop's amazing. Your bishop's so good. Um, I still, I mean, you could play e4, maybe. Don't really see a big problem with e4. Mm -hmm. I like e4. Yeah, you got to make use of your extra center pawn, gain some space. Get those two bishops going. Now it should be pretty close to even. Probably even black's a little bit better. Because you've got some queenside weaknesses. Okay. Oh, b5. Alright, a little controversy there. On the queen <laughs> side. Interesting stuff. He's just playing actively, I get it. Yeah, I was happy when she played rook c4. Because I wanted to play b5... But then I thought she would just play a5. And so right. She, she kind of gave me a chance to play it and not have to worry about that. That's understandable. That rook, yeah. yeah, I mean, your rook is good. Although you, you gave yourself some weak bonds, but you're playing actively, yeah. so that's what you want to do. Rook b1's a little passive. I would try to avoid that if possible. I'm not saying it's possible, just, you know, that's what I try to do. Mm hmm. Perhaps rook a4, counterattack. But he'll take this attacking your queen. Although maybe you can move your queen, attack the knight or something. Oh no, then he forks you. Oh no, no, no that's okay, because the rook would be hanging. So the variation I was thinking was here, takes queen here. Actually, he could play knight b6, queen b6, queen b3 rather, queen a4. But you lost a pawn there, so that's not good. Mm. Maybe I, I can improve on queen d3 by going here just first. Yeah, you should target his pawn. Yeah, that's, I thought about that move. That's what you gotta do. Maybe even queen a1. 
not B1. Mm. Yeah, I don't like to play Rook B1 here. That that's, seems very passive to me. I would do anything to avoid that, if possible. E4, now you're talking. I like how you got your Rook over and then brought your Queen back. That's like how a pro does it. That's how a pro <laughs> does it. Now your E pawn's hanging, but you ignored it and counterattacked. Interesting. And then he gave it up. Then, oh, I thought you would take C7. But you played here instead. That might be okay. Guess. No, but you're not even taking the C pawn. You're counterattacking even more. <laughs> yeah, I was starting to sweat a little bit around here. I was like, yeah, I, I don't know what. What's really like the, turning up the heat. I mean, I think we were both getting lower on time, mm -hmm. too. Yeah, we were. <clears throat> what? Saying so? You know, I didn't see it the first move. It seems like I did something else, and then I took it. Oh, yeah, I completely missed that. <laughs> oh, okay. Th then he got time to fork you, even. Yeah. But it does seem like you guys are low on time. Yeah. Even here, he could fork you. We were both a little, pretty low. All right. Then you did see it. Now you're roasting him. This is just a roast. So now the game's basically over, but time makes fools of us all. Whoa. <laughs> Getting crazy here I know. at that time. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Tough game, definitely. But you had him there. You were... Equal or better for almost all of the game, really. And yeah. things, things just spiraled out of control at, at, at the end, of course. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know how to get faster, darn. And I am faster, actually. Just, all right, just keep, so uh, keep it going, you know? I know, it's just frustrating. I lose a lot of games on time. That's true. <clears throat> this looks like a Silman Endgame book here. Hey, MG Weirdo. <laughs> Same opening. I did play it. In my game with Karen, I played here. And then she went here. And then I just backed it up. She played here. I played h3, and she backed it up. And then I played knight f3. This is where we are now. Mm. Market Sands roasting me, but see, I can't even ban him because he's... So nice, because <laughs> he's so nice. He gets <laughs> donations. That's true. <laughs> so F three, that's uh, an aggressive move that I considered when you played this against me. Mm. See, now he plays knight g two because he doesn't have the choice to play knight f three anymore. Okay. Seems like you uh, came out of that all right. Still, e four is going to be a little annoying soon. I was sort of in imagining this move. So if you're going to play e4, that seems like the right move. But, okay, it shouldn't make too big of a difference here. You played this, but at least there's no white square bishops this time. Mm -hmm. what th will this lose a pawn? The answer is no. e6, yep. Yeah, now you're lost, huh? Oh, yeah, this was like... Yeah. I knew it was. I was in big trouble. I was even complaining about it during the game. I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> My F-pawn. So, yeah, the problem is E5, E6 with Temple. Yeah. Right? So this all started because you played H6. Mm -hmm, well, ironically, yeah. weakening the white squares so that he can play <laughs> Queen G6 later. Yeah. Yeah, the H6 is the move. H6 is the move. I got to stop play. doing that so much when I'm black. Market Sands donated some money so he could abuse you emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs> so what to do about that? Well, that's a tough question. Yeah, during the game I was thinking she should have taken on E4. E4, but I guess that doesn't really even change anything because I'm just going to play F takes E and it's going to be the same. Well, now e E5 could be met by knight D5 in theory. Not in, in practice, but in <laughs> theory. Um, dang, I'm just really like looking for some tactic like this, but it's not really working. Mm -mm. See how Smith too good. 
that or something. Maybe you can go here just to cover the square. Yeah, yeah. And then if he goes here, now you have enough cover of that too. But this is extremely passive play. Mm-hmm. Even so, it looks like you're holding though. Looks like you're holding it together. This this might have been the defense. It doesn't seem like he can win anything. He could just do stuff like this. And maybe you could even consider to take that, but for example, he could just do like this and say that white's a little bit better. He's got a little bit more space and you have an isolated pawn. Mm -hmm. But this isn't the end of the world. He's playing 96, double it up, you know, doing all right. Yeah. So yeah, this might be the defense taking in knight f8. But h6 rears its ugly head. And then here comes... Uh... I mean, I knew it was a problem, but I just didn't know what to do. Yeah, now it's it's over. Mm -hmm. Because it's mate and a queen. Yeah. I played on for a little bit. <laughs> oh, you hung your queen there, I guess. You missed it. <laughs> Good game. All right, let's see what's next here. Oh, yeah. See, this move order is interesting. People keep recommending it to me, so I, like, the first London game, I feel like it didn't go so well for me, so I figured I would try this instead. So. Right, actually, the most precise move here for white, I believe, is C4. <laughs> You're getting compliments in your hair. <laughs> nice Jerry Thanks. Curl, Rick James. <laughs> it does look like Rick James. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do as much cocaine, though. <laughs> The c4 might be the most precise move because uh, you can meet queen b6 with queen d2, knight e4? Maybe not. Maybe not. No, actually, I don't know. Seems like I can't really get everything I want, which is too bad. Because I like to get everything I want. Yeah, who doesn't? Right. Hey, VZ, DJ88. Yeah, I just can't quite do it. So you just play queen c1, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I was wondering what to do about that. Yeah, I mean, I would like to sack a pawn or something, but I, I can't really see it working. Mm -hmm. You know, like this. It looks okay. One idea, like, for white in a lot of these variations is to play knight c5, but or b5, but c6 stops that, clearly. Mm-hmm. Like, if you could play knight b5 here, he'd be worried about his queen and c7, but c6 is preventing that. So. Typically, when I play the London, people don't get their queen out quite so early. Mm -hmm. This is a little so, early. So I was just surprised by it, and so I didn't know mm -hmm. what to do. No, this is fine. I mean, I don't know what to do. I mean, it's real <laughs> passive, but I mean, that's right. all I could do. I, don't, I can't give up. Yeah, all that material. This one's a little surprising to me. Like, wouldn't you play d5, get your white square bishop out, then e6? Yeah, I didn't really know what to do anymore. e6 first, blocks your bishop. Right. Yeah. I played d5 eventually, but yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, but now your white square bishop's bad. Yeah. Then c5. Yeah, gotta take with the e pawn there. Okay. Because yeah, he was threatening knight d4 here, I suppose. Mm -hmm. That's why I took it. Mm -hmm. Indubitably. Because he was hoping I would take that stinking bishop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, bishops? We don't need no stinking bishops. I mean, that bishop's like the worst bishop I ever saw. Mm -hmm. Until it goes here. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> So you took it. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense, yeah. Because he was about to be not the worst bishop. Right. <laughs> Classic two bishops. Oh, got you there. Now yeah. you lost the pawn. Yeah. In fact, couldn't he theoretically just take the pawn? Mm-hmm. So yeah, this is a blunder. You hung your pawn. Uh, probably, so whenever like you have this scenario, mm -hmm. you want to get rear rook there. The rook covers the knight and protects the b-pawn. Your rook's really good on that square because the knight can go to all those squares that the rook is guarding. 
You see what I mean? Yeah. So that's what you want to do. This happens a lot in a Queen's Gambit decline. When you have black, you have this structure. Mm -hmm. And in a London, if you play E takes D4, you have this structure as well. So yeah, this is where this is what this is definitely what you should do. Nice. Oh, okay. You protect the pawn. Your rook is great on a half open file. It's active I, and protecting. I really struggle with the rooks um, when to get them moving off the back mm -hmm. rank because it just always feels a little awkward to me to put it on the second rank this early with all these pieces. It seems like I, I get in trouble. But... Well, one benefit is that he doesn't mm -hmm. have a white square bishop. That's true. Yeah, so he can never like point. put his bishop here. That's when I usually get in trouble with him exactly. or with the bishops. Usually, yeah, He only has one knight, mm -hmm. and this is the perfect placement right, against that knight. For that knight. Okay. So you got nothing else to worry about. That's true. That's it. Those are the only minor pieces. This mm -hmm. guy's not going to bother you. So he picked it up, and he can't even win back the pawn because it's defended. I hate when that happens. You struggle with star princess with, yeah, with multi-move defensive tactics. Yeah, I do too. Especially with the rooks. Lifting them up. Found with, with rooks and queens, it's harder for me to see, like, multi-move maneuvers. Like, oh, I want my rook or my queen on this square. Like, I don't know, it's easier for me to maneuver a knight or a bishop for some reason. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I can see that. I mean, usually heavy pieces just go to the square they want because they can move yeah. very, very far. But knights, you have to maneuver around. So you're, like, always looking for knight maneuvers. Mm -hmm, that's true. Um, so if he takes here, I don't I don't get why he can't take there, I guess. Seems like he totally could. But he didn't want it. I get it. Probably just was not seen. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, it's just such an uh, an easy I, I did, position for black. I didn't really want to trade off for dark square bishop because I felt like it was kind of a pest to my rooks. Yeah, I mean, I if I had white, I wouldn't trade the dark square bishops, except you kind of have to because yeah. the pawn is hanging. Yeah, I could, <laughs> well, I couldn't find also anywhere to put it that made any kind of sense. You could try bishop c1 here. And my point mm -hmm. is, if you take, then I can uh, win back my pawn on the a file. Okay. No, no, I'm, I can't though, because you can take this and protect. So yeah, it's it's busted. It's busted. I can't mm -hmm. hold the position mm -hmm. any kind of way. I mean, not only are you pawn down, but you have all these weaknesses on the queen side. Yeah, this is a good positional move. He locked your pawn on a white square, so your bishop's not happy about that. Yeah. Just grinding on you now. Yeah. I think per usual I was low on time too at this point. Right, and either resigns or loses on time. I would imagine you didn't resign here. Maybe though. I might have. I resigned. Losing a lot of pawns. No, I, think, I think it was a, a loss on time. Oh, right, was it? just down a few pawns. Come on, you don't resign a blitz game like that. <laughs> <laughs> But all right, yeah, I mean, that was a, a really good game, except for Queen E3, right? That was the move that lost you the mm -hmm. game. It was a one-move kind of deal. Yeah, and I knew it as soon as I moved it. Hey, trying to learn. How's it going? Yeah. All right, let's look at, uh, what well, you've still got a couple more, right? Mm -hmm. This one? Oh, I saw this one. You were doing great this game. And then he, he, he mated you. Oh, look, it's a E4 instead of D4 this time, huh? Mixing it up on you. So this is sort of what we looked at, although I told you to play C5 first, but whatever. This is, we transposed. I remembered, yeah, after we, I figured it right. didn't really matter that much. This is good. Great. So you've already equalized. For the record, white should take this so that her knight has to go here. Um, now it's very easy for black to play. So usually you want to play pawn takes in this structure because look at how nice these pawns are yeah really good mm -hmm. really okay. good stuff you could sometimes take with the bishop especially if your bishop hasn't moved yet because then you gain a tempo but here your bishop already moved so i wouldn't feel like moving it again okay and then and then again even yeah so you hit it hit it and quit it <laughs> i've been there <laughs> <laughs> so this position I saw here I'll tell you what I what I would do okay. I don't know that it's best 
But I was thinking, ah, she should just take the knight and play g6. And now, with your pawns arranged on white squares, it's difficult for him to break unless he wants to sacrifice a pawn, which he could. He could sack a pawn, but not only do you win a pawn, but you gain a tempo, and this is kind of important. Like, let's say he try and he's trying to, like, checkmate you, you know? Mm -hmm. But you can always play rook e8. I mean, you have this square covered, but you can also try to maneuver to e6 if you need to with the knight, or even rook e6 to stop queen f6. Yeah. But he could still do this. It's a, it's a pawn sacrifice, but he's going to have compensation. But the reason I want to play g6 is because I don't want him to play f5 without costing him a pawn. Oh, here's a great move. Queen c2. Now we're talking. That's a good chess move right there. You, you, you're you just going to defend on the white squares with your queen. And I didn't even have to play g6. Amazing. I don't want to play g6, but, you know, don't want you to play f5. Yeah, this would have been the right play. Takes and queen c2. You're, you're better here. Your knight is going to be better than this bishop because all of his pawns are in dark squares. But you do have to maneuver the knight a bit. Mm -hmm. It's going to take some effort because he can play b3, then you can try to play a4. So I don't know, maybe you're not better. but You could also protect e6 like this and then play f5, but that, that's obviously very risky. But, you know, if you're feeling it. You know, maybe put your rook here, and then your other rook on c6, and you're really getting aggressive. But okay, I mean, <laughs> this looks really nice for black. I'd hey, Jesper. Happy. Has Ben started to color his beard and grow hair? <laughs> <laughs> rook no. f e8. Yeah, now you're getting crushed, f5. Yeah, you can't. See, I did everything I could to stop that in my variations. Yeah. Now it's like, ah, I'm scared. Now maybe you, you didn't care. Maybe. Oh, I cared. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought maybe you're like, yeah, I see that. I'll take here, and then it's just really complicated. <laughs> well. No, I yeah, didn't know exactly what to do. You took this. Okay. Okay. You could also consider to take here. If he tries to get fancy on you, you just do this. Roast. And then here you take with the bishop to save your bishop. Although this is still kind of risky. So you could still take this, but now you have to take here, because you can't let him play f6. You, can, you can't let him do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is like the same structure that I was suggesting you to have in that uh, Queen's Gambit decline game. When I wanted you to play knight d5, takes, takes, and then he has, and then you have a, an isolated d-pawn, and mm -hmm. he has the same structure. Kind of funny how that works out. But yeah, you're all right here. This is all right. Rook e6, or knight to e6. Ben is chiming in here. What's he saying? Well, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Yeah, knight f8 to e6. Bishop d4, ef knight. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. He's just uh, typing in what I'm saying. Mm. Exactly right. But yeah, okay, so also you could consider this move, although it's very complicated. Queen g3 would pin you. Maybe bishop d6 unpins. Bishop f4. I don't know if any of those moves are good, but <laughs> yeah. So you played this. Now he's starting mate. You saw it. But yeah, you have to play g6. Or I guess you could play bishop f8. But if you have to play g6, you're not thrilled. Right? You're not thrilled. Yeah, I wasn't thrilled. <laughs> right. Knight e5. This was complicated. I saw this position. Yeah, I knew it was a little more risky. Now here, so he sacked the exchange, which you could put in air quotes. Uh, but he's going to win it back, right? Mm -hmm. Except after your move... He wins a whole rook. Yeah. So you'd rather just play a rook move like one of these two moves. Okay. And then he takes, he, which he doesn't have to do. Although maybe he does because rookie one check. But okay, he takes and then you take back. Then it was just a big trade. Yeah, I was unhappy with my move and I could complain about like, oh, I shouldn't have done that, but that's not what. You mean this move? Um, yeah. Yeah, this move loses a whole rook. Although mm -hmm. I think that he messed it up. Yeah, I missed, I missed something. Because the knight's hanging. Right, at the end. yeah. So he, all he has to do is take this. That protects the knight. That's why, that's why I was not happy. And then after this, he's a piece up. Mm -hmm. But, um. So instead, I think he I was, took this. I think I was up a pawn, like, after this. Yeah. No, you're up a pawn to start. Yeah. Like, you're up a pawn once you took this pawn. 
That's a pawn up. Okay. Then he sacked the exchange to win it back, and then instead of losing the exchange, he lost a rook. Then instead of winning a rook, he won the exchange. <laughs> so now you're... You're right. <laughs> Pretty much. So now uh, you're up a pawn and probably just winning, but you're going to have to use a lot of technique. This was right. Oh, yeah, this is when I got mated. On the side of the board here. Yeah, I just didn't even think about it. Yeah, I really like right. this mate, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, because he's already lining up for you it. You really what? I was really happy that I, I found this mate. Yeah, no, that was a very, that was a great play. Really You're Definitely. still okay here, but this move is, is the blunder. This move makes it so that this comes with the tempo. Yeah. And now it's a mate and a bishop mm -hmm. hanging. Um, so even here you're okay, although probably this move wasn't best because you're helping him do it. Right. So I guess you could, uh, and I kind of always want to play bishop f8, right? Just because, but it would, I would love to go here, mm -hmm. but I'm a little annoyed about the check. So you could also play bishop e7, f6, but I feel like if my dad's watching, you should play bishop f8 and not f6, mm -hmm. right? Don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> Even here, you could play, like, for example, bishop c1, you won't get mated now. After here, he's threatening mate, but you can just avoid it. Hmm. Easier said than done, honestly. <laughs> I guess here, but... No, that's okay. I thought you'd lose a pawn here, but you won't. Because your bishop's defending by x-ray. Mm -hmm. So if he checks you, you can go here and you won't lose your pawn. You know, if takes, you could take this. And then you kept everything hunky-dory. But yeah, you missed his concept, and it cost I you. I could dearly. have also gone. Oh yes. Um, like move the pawn to f4. Oh, yeah. Bishop h4 first. Yeah. And then g5. No, you lose material. Look, takes. Mm -hmm. He's gonna take right. You're gonna take right. Boom shakalaka. Fork. Oh yeah. I <laughs> got you. But what if I wasn't even gonna say that? Oh. Um. Instead of g5, you have a move. Yeah, what if... Oh, I, king here. Yeah. I'll Maybe do the same thing. Take. Oh, yeah, yeah, same thing. Okay. <laughs> nice little trick there. Dang, who would have thought even the rook being here is harming you? <laughs> so, yeah, basically uh, there were a lot of, you know, little little tactical foibles in that game, <laughs> right? Yeah. But he got you at the end with a nice mating pattern, the pawn and bishop combined. I know. To trap your king. You can almost open your eyes, Market Sands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more, right? I think there's one more. Yeah. One more game. Hey, we still have 265 viewers. Nice. Yay. Yeah, awesome. So you guys replayed your opening theory from before? Yeah, and I hope that all you new people give, give me a follow and give CL Smith 15 a follow. Seems pretty, pretty normal. I think I like white. Just making sure you're not losing material here. I'm a little worried about CD. Maybe it's not so bad. I don't really see how he can win material. He could do this, but it doesn't win material. Not quite, because you could take with the knight. If you took with, if you had to take with the queen for some reason, this would win. Mm -hmm. Although if you had to do that, you could just play knight takes. Oh no, but then knight here. But anyways, you don't have to worry about that. You just play knight <laughs> takes. <laughs> yeah, but even this is kind of annoying. Yeah. So I don't know. This might be good for black to take and play knight before. This doesn't work because your queen is defended, so you're gonna be ahead of rook at the end here. that she could take on uh on d7 and then take on h7 is that how the game what happened in the game no you played h6 no, avoiding no. that because you're you're afraid of it i get it because that was the threat in fact she could have done it here i get you right i didn't yeah. see that either i wasn't paying attention 95 threatens that because the knight's overloaded so yeah in fact she could even do this first that might be better for some reason I think it is I mean, better. Ben pointed it out in the chat, so I'm kind of cheating. But... Oh, yeah. 
That's Wait, fair. no, why is... Let me see it again. So his knight is overloaded. It's protecting the bishop. It's mm -hmm. also protecting that. Oh, yeah. So all you got to do is take one, then the other. It's like, does it go down to, you know, 30 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit? Mm -hmm. First one, then the other. <laughs> Classic Futurama. Okay. Looks like you're going to win a pawn here. But then he'll take B2. Right. Then you can take B7, maybe. I just, but, but then just it felt like, it. well, fair. I felt like C3 was going to fall. Yes. So I yes. just didn't want to do it. No, that's all right. I can, I can, I can dig mm -hmm. that. I don't know. I still, I really like to do it. Let's look. Okay. So if we use this rook and he takes on c3, then this is loose. If we can't play rook takes b7. So we'll use this rook. Now he, he take your pick, right? Mm -hmm. I think he should take this because then maybe we could take that later. But here the benefit is it's a fork. So he has to play a move to handle that. And then just looking for more tactics, but they don't exist. We can do this. So the material is you're up a pawn. Ben says just take e4 later. Yeah. Defend b2 first. OK, but he means like don't take e4 here. That's what he means. He wants you to like defend like this and mm -hmm. then threaten to take. But here I think he would take e4 because one problem with taking e4 here is that he could play like some bishop c6 in the future. But if you do this variation and then bishop c6 and then we trade everything like I wanted to, then he can't play bishop c6. Because he doesn't have, we traded the bishops. Mm -hmm. So this variation to me just seems good. Seems like you're going to be a pawn up. But also he could take a three to protect that. Yeah, I get you. That's, and it says that's bishop smart. takes e four instead of knight takes. Hmm. Ah, I see what he wants. So he wants you to take once and then protect this. So now your bishop's not hanging because you play bishop takes e four in this variation. Oh yeah. Also, you could just go here and there. That looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I really like that. But okay, he could just take it and def and hunker down, defend that. But but yeah, maybe just rook b one and try to take it, because he can't really defend it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this is the right way to play for sure. Take with the bishop so that it's not a tempo on your bishop, as what happened if you take with the knight. Right now you have to do something about it. Darn, you don't have time to protect it. But that's kind of a minor detail, I would say. It's okay to miss that kind of thing. You'd rather not miss it, but you know, what are you going to do? Got to miss something. <laughs> Can't see everything. So now it's just the most boring position ever, huh? Is that what happened? Yeah, and we were probably both getting lower on time, too, per usual. But he always had more time than me. <laughs> well, hold on. Isn't that... Is that a freebie? Oh, yeah. Tell me that's not a freebie. Yep, B5 was probably a blunder. But you missed it. And now he's better. Now he's yeah, doing he got great. Past, yeah. Yeah, B4 is terrible. Even never mind this is hanging, which obviously you should take it. But even mm -hmm. if it wasn't hanging, B4 is bad because you'd give him a protected pass pawn. We, we didn't have any time left. Well, that makes sense. That yeah, makes sense. Just moving. Maybe A4, though. Maybe A4, yeah. But yeah. Oh. Yeah, I mean, we were just. Oh, Dang. Was just there wasn't anything I could do after then. I can't remember. Oh, oh I yeah. saw the end here. Oh, yeah, I missed, like, a, stalem stalemate. I missed a stalemate trick. <laughs> bishop g3 here but queen f3 is mate oh okay. but bishop g3 is a trick because then if he takes it's stalemate yeah yeah it's like 90 percent i would have taken the bishop <laughs> <laughs> well maybe maybe i can't say for sure <laughs> good games though very interesting moments i think the best one was uh where you only played one mistake queen e3 that was probably the most precisely played game yeah of them all but yeah. they all had interesting moments. All right, well, I have my work yeah, cut they were all, it. All fun games. They're all pretty much all close, I think. Yeah, I would say so. Sorry. Especially the second game. Yeah. <laughs> I that I, game was a little too close. Those, <laughs> those games weren't close at all. <laughs> no, the games were somewhat close. They were not close. 
You just you have too much. Uh, you're you're like too involved. You know. What do you mean? You know how like a parent is like my kid's not getting the best. You know my school. It's because they're too involved. You know. The games weren't if, if close. You, if you step back and look at it. There it, one. There was one game that was close. One that I lost on time. <laughs> right. No, but other games were were a struggle. It wasn't like he blew you off the yeah, board there every there game. Easy wins, really. I mean, I yeah. guess there was the one where I got to play like e five, e six. Yeah. Other than that, like all the games were. Not easy by any means. I mean, I guess we each played according to our ratings. Right, yeah. <laughs> so no, I mean, but yeah, I, I really appreciate the uh, the opportunity to play the match. It was a lot of fun, and, and thank you, Spencer, for uh, for looking over the games. Oh, you got it, it CL Smith. Yeah, I'm so happy. Thank you for participating, and I hope you picked up some new follows from. Um, yeah, I'm gonna run over to my channel and, and see if that happens. <laughs> yeah, send me a note. Let me know. I don't know if people. Um, if I even picked up any new follows, but I got a lot of viewers. I um, just a reminder because we have two hundred something people, so maybe those are still some of the new people that found us from the Twitch uh, front page. But you can um, probably see the little heart over the screen, and if you click it, you can follow C L Smith. Also, G M Benjamin Fine Gold is still there, and then you can follow me the normal way below the screen, and we would appreciate it. And we think um that our streams are fun <laughs> and you might enjoy c coming again and exciting so are we going to do any learning stuff that's um, up to you i mean you've already been streaming for two hours mm -hmm. i think but I you're could, the boss i could do a little bit <laughs> all right i'd like to yeah all right so, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll hang up and, and become a viewer <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay awesome. yeah because we're going to switch our layout but thank you again so much i really enjoyed it i'm going to work you. really hard Maybe we'll have a rematch after I awesome. yeah. feel like I'm yeah, ready, I'm more ready. ready. <laughs> All, All right, right, bye. See you. Guys. See you later. Bye, C.L. Smith. Bye. Let me get over on the... Uh... Also, this mouse is, like, blinking red, so should I get the cord? This one? Yeah, the one that's blinking red. Come on. Um, yeah, but we don't have a lot of extra USB ports. Well, isn't one so... of them getting taken by the... Yeah, but when I tried to plug it in um, yesterday, it didn't work. It needs both the plug and the USB. I didn't dongle? think so. I didn't think so, but um, just give me one minute. We right. can do it. Let me first switch the. Okay, guys, we're about to do some Silman Endgame stuff, which we have our hardcore lovers of it, and a few complainers. <laughs> <laughs> Like me. But, um, this is too hard to read. It's hard. <laughs> but, you know, we want to finish the book. We're following um, Jeremy Silman's in -game, complete in-game course book, and we're into some really hard stuff, but we just want to feel complete, like we did something and didn't just bail on it. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to finish it regardless. Absolutely. I'm excited to finish it. I don't it. give a crap if we go down to one viewer. We are going to finish it. <laughs> but zero viewers, then we'd stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, a few of you like it still. I understand it's hard. We're going to do middle game studies next, mm -hmm. which I think is going to be most helpful for my level. No doubt about it, but I really love the end game stuff. It's interesting. Let's see if we can get it to work. End it games are pretty interesting. You know, I'm more about middle games. I think to me, studying the opening is the most boring. I agree with that. But I really, end games to me are really interesting, but I do understand it may not, may not be as helpful, but um, it's, it's interesting to me. You're going to stick around, Marquette, yay. Nice. You, hey, and you can give another donation if you want. <laughs> Only if you want. <laughs> but, you know, no pressure. All right, so this is part nine, the final part. Yay. The party of the final part. We end did games it almost. for pure pleasure. So we're just going to look at end games for fun now. <clears throat> While parts one through eight are part of a detailed study program, part nine, which we're currently in, is something anyone of any rating can enjoy. Nice. Who doesn't find this, the sight of an entombed or dominated minor piece almost comical in nature? I think he goes on and on. You know how he does it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, let's get that. Nine. nine. Right. One of my favorite patterns in chess is domination. Uh, while rendering a piece helpless can often result in an uninteresting or one-sided beating. At other times, the paralysis of a piece creates a rather eye-pleasing effect. In general, pawns are the prison bars that entangle bishops. 
leaving once mighty pieces trapped in a tiny cell. Knights, on the other hand, can easily become dominated by bishops. Uh, of course, the noble steed isn't immune to the <laughs> pen-building properties of the pawn, and, like the bishop, can easily find itself imprisoned in a cage. First, let's enjoy a medley of basic entombments. The nice. pawns are prison bars. It's tough for somebody <laughs> who didn't go to college to read all this <laughs> flowery prose. Oh, you're doing pretty good. He wants to be a poet. All right, he doesn't even know it. Mm -hmm. Do you know who we haven't seen in a while? Tell me who we haven't seen in a while. The guy, what's, I forgot his name right now. That's how long it's been. We call the puzzles poems. Owen. Owen, Owen. It kind of sounds like poem. Krakowski or something like that. He did a hey, bed. Yeah, I think he did have fun writing the book. I hate when authors have fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does seem to enjoy prose and language. Better than cons, I guess. An experienced player wouldn't hesitate to play f6, bishop h8, g5, entombing Black's bishop and leaving himself effectively a bishop up in the resulting endgame. Black would be a pawn ahead, but his game is hopeless because the bishop on h8 would never see the light of day. Mm -hmm. Pretty easy to understand. Uh, That's what happens to me. This happened to me when I was like four years old. I got my bishop stuck like that. Oh, you did? Yeah. And Classic. Stuck with you forever. All right. <clears throat> well, I only remember because my dad told, t oh. talks about it. I don't actually remember it. But I'll take his word on it. He wouldn't lie about that. Just, you know, other stuff. Yeah, we still have 312 people. Nice. Yay, go viewers. I hope you guys return for, you know, future streams. All right, so here's a classic example. White to move. In this diagram position, it's a no-brainer. What was that noise? <laughs> oh, you know what? Tell me what. Let me just see the mouse for one second. Sure, you got I mean, it. Sorry. Just let me... This is like a, a drum roll for this, uh, you know, position. What? Oh, because you're not out of the call with C.L. Smith. Oh. But who is that? Oh, that's a bot. Yeah. I had a feeling... So that's it... why it's telling you. Okay. I had a feeling it was Discord. Sorry about that. Discord was talking to me. So here, white plays bishop d7. Mm -hmm. As long as it's white's turn, of course. Attacking the knight. The knight has to stop the pawn, right? So he goes here. But the knight's trapped. And also, by the way, the king can't approach. So it's over. You just go there and take it. GG. Let's look at another one. i got to change all these settings. It's tough. It's a tough life. Oh, when you set up the position. Yeah. And sometimes the pieces are different. I have to go click them. It's really tough for somebody like me. All right, here we go. Not quite. Hey, Joe Adam. There we go. Raising a drink to us. Nice. Just what I need. I wish I could go to karaoke tonight. Speaking of drinks. Right. <laughs> Black to play. The game is completely drawn. The presence of bishops of opposite color and the fact that, well, I mean, it's obviously a draw. <laughs> Just ignore what he says. However, uh, miracles are occasionally known to occur in chess. That's true. For example, if Black plays bishop h2 double question mark, hashtag Bobby Fisher, g3 and now this guy's entombed that's pretty common definitely just ask bobby i've had that happen to me a million times <laughs> so all right we we learned although we probably already knew some of those examples of some entombed pieces now let's look at another position with a little bit more going on why it was a former jailer <laughs> Put some more minor pieces on. Oh, 
going the right square. Even Rooks, my favorite piece. Karen, what's your favorite piece? My favorite piece? That's what I asked. The queen. Oh, all right. <laughs> That's what I thought you'd say. What's your favorite piece? I just said it. I want the rook? Yeah, I got yeah. a tattoo of one. <laughs> oh, why is that more favorite than the queen? Oh, I just like how it looks and it's, you know, obviously it's not as strong as a queen. Yeah. Although two rooks are better than a queen. Mm -hmm. So, and I get two rooks oh, that's only true. one queen. That's a good point. Yeah, that's funny. I, you know, rook is definitely not. Yeah, queen's way better. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. All right, so this position is clearly lost for white. The bishop on c6 is a monster. And black has more space on the king side and queen side. That's true. But the main reason white is doomed is that the c3 knight is going to be caged. Um, knight b1. If you play knight a4, we'll win a pawn. Take this way first, because our bishop's better. Mm -hmm. And then we'll win. So knight b1 is going to be the move. You can't play anywhere else safely. Knight d1 gets taken. These squares get taken. That's illegal. That's illegal. That gets taken. So you have to go knight b1. But you probably can guess what black would play here, right, Karen? Um, uh, Rook d1. Well, that doesn't entomb the knight. In its prison bar. Oh, yeah, you have to entomb it. <laughs> yes. Like a jailer um, behind lock and key. <laughs> and uh, more metaphors of the like. He goes C3. Yes, C3. Now he's shut down for the rest of the game. He kept switching his metaphors between cages and, <laughs> and prison and such. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see how things can turn out in actual play. Here's a game, Poopols against Silman. I heard of those guys. I was thinking that song, Too Sinbad. Which song? I Des like songs. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a knight in a cage. Classic, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, Smashing Pumpkins. Mm -hmm. That's like the worst Smashing Pumpkins song. I'm not a huge fan, but I like that one. What do you have against that song? It's the lyrics are terrible. <laughs> but other than that, it's good. Lyrics are almost intentionally bad. Yeah, I like I like the chorus. It's all right. Yeah, it's not that bad. I'm I'm not the hugest of their fans either, but I like a lot of their other songs more. Mm -hmm. All right, let me just make sure I got the right position. Seems like Black has a lot of extra pawns. Is CL going live tonight? I don't know. He, we were having technical issues. He was going to try to stream at the same time, but then he bailed on that. So here, this position is comical overkill, he says. But it also makes an, ele ele what? an excellent illustration of a dominated knight. Black just played bishop d4. That knight's done for. Taking away all the knight's squares, effectively freezing it in place. White's misery goes far beyond this one indignity. His king is also trapped in a corner. Oh, yeah. How about that? Black is also two pawns up. <laughs> yes. So he could already resign, he says. But White decided to linger in his death agony. That's like the, the Cranberry song, Did You Have to Let It Linger? I don't know that song. I'm not a Cranberries fan. I'm 100% sure you know that song, though. Oh, maybe. There's no way you don't know that song. Just I probably just don't know the name of it. <laughs> Why not have the king get in there? Yep. Got to get your king up in there. H4. Here comes the king. Bishop G. Oh, hanging his pawn. That's like what my dad would do. Oh, my pawn. <laughs> Ah, oh, even though the knights attacked and mates threatened. <laughs> Bishop g4. He played h3. That stops mate. And then after takes, resigns. Got him. Too easy for someone to win that. 
Hopefully anybody even in the chat would win this with black. But who knows? As long as I didn't run, lose on time. <laughs> <laughs> that is one caveat. Silman was flexing. A little bit. Showing that Jamie crushed the dude. No, he says with, move. with oh. 90s uh, rock song references. Oh, right, mm -hmm. left and right. Although he didn't mention the songs at all, we did. But <laughs> mm -hmm. maybe it was like a secret little message. You know, only if you know 90s right. rock will you <laughs> really, truly be able to understand the book. <laughs> All right. Here's a game that's a little bit less one-sided, but still one-sided. Black to play. This is some guy named Eddie. I don't know if even that was his first or last name. Against Silman from 93. Anchorage. This position looks like it should be a fairly simple win for Black since he's in effect a bishop ahead. I remember we had a hand and brain game where our opponent had a bishop that was like trapped over here kind of like this. Mm -hmm. and we could have shut him down, but we didn't. But we could have shut him down similar to this. Yeah, you want to shut him down. And by the way, whenever you have this scenario, like in a middle game, mm -hmm. you'd like to trade into an end game where like this is his last piece. Like imagine these rooks are gone. Yeah. That would be even easier to win because you got a bishop against nothing. But if you add like queens and you know knights and such on the board, it's more and more difficult to win. You want to trade off when you have such a big advantage into an endgame where you're up a bishop for nothing, basically. Mm -hmm. So he's already on the right track. Um, Black's only real question is whether or not he can penetrate into the queen side with his king after the exchange of rooks. If he can, while also retaining the queen side pawns, at least one queen side pawn, it's game over. But if he can't, it might be a draw. Here's a typical position we could try to avoid. I'll just set it up like this. With the rooks gone. Like that. This type of position is uh, a draw because you can't make progress. can't do anything your king can't infiltrate anywhere your bishop can't take any pawn except this one i don't think it's going to take that one and you can't make a pawn break without losing a pawn and that's not going to help you because i'll queen so all he has to do is like move back and forth and draw mm -hmm. so that's something to avoid here's another position to avoid like this that and here. This position is also a draw. So I see the point. You want you move your bishop back and forth. Then if he tries to zugzwang you by playing bishop here, thereby preventing your bishop from moving, you don't play bishop there, you can move your king back. Right. But you shouldn't move your king back without the bishop being here, because if you play king d2, then he'll play king c4. Yeah, it blocks the king. So you have to wait for him to go here to stop your bishop from moving, then you go back. Okay. And then that's how you can avoid Zugzwang all the time. Or, of course, another drawn position, this is going to be the easiest to understand, is when there's no queenside pawns. You're not going to win like this with nothing else on the queen side. Yeah, and in fact, so he goes on to say, the first two examples we looked at that I just showed you, black can't enter the position, and it's a draw. This diagram, this position, black's king has managed to penetrate to the queen side, but all the queen side pawns are gone. So this is also a draw. With these failures in mind, black's play, starting from the beginning, is easy to understand. He'll exchange the rooks when his king can penetrate into the queen side, but he'll be sure to retain one pawn on the queen side. So let's get back to the starting position here. Get those queen side pawns back so we can win. And put some rooks on the board while we're at it for good measure. Are we playing Lee Chess? No, um, we're on chess.com. I'm a chess.com streamer, though I'm uh, you know not very important to them, but I am one of their streamers. <laughs> <laughs> we had like almost a thousand viewers today. Come on. <laughs> and I do prefer chess.com to Lee Chess, so and that's not a lie just because I'm one of their streamers. 
All right, so here we go, black to play. So we have to have some technique to win this position. As we saw, we could draw it if we're not careful. So he starts with a5. This gains space and also shows that black is in no hurry. White is completely helpless, so black should only begin the decisive phase, which is to trade rooks, uh, after he's optimized his king and pawns. Ugh. Dang it. I'm sorry, I messed it up as usual. Classic me. This is here already. This is still here. We'll do all the same things. There we go. What link are you trying to post, Jay Cheatham? Cheatham? <laughs> we might let you post one. Now he goes king e6 question mark failing to embrace a true cat and mouse mentality if you remember from the last part this well-intentioned but lazy and hasty move allows white a bit of counterplay with with what move um you can go rook d8 exactly know. yeah rook get d8 a, get Still. out Get some counterplay here. Attack that. Mm -hmm. Attack these guys. Not not the best technique here. The position after rook d8 is still lost, but why give the helpless opponent anything at all? Silman would now recommend a more patient move. Why even bother allowing that rook c8? And then we'll play king e6 next. And... Uh, we took away d8 from the rook, obviously. Mm -hmm. Bishop g2, because he can't do nothing. King e6, bishop f1, rook c2. And now this is helpless, or hopeless, rather, because we can just take the pawn. And then we'll make a queen, because we got two against one. So, king e1. And then we can trade the rooks and play b4. And this is actually the position they reached in the game by transposition. Mm -hmm. Also of note is that black shouldn't play rook c2 in this position, he says. Well, that's probably what I would do. Ah, but see, now he, he can achieve one of those diagram positions we talked about, takes, and then b4. No, he'll get his king to c3. That's a draw that we already saw earlier when the guy's king was here and his bishop was there. You remember that? Mm -hmm. And then you can't win because bishop c4 allows us to move our king to d2. And not playing bishop c4 allows us to go back and forth here. All right. So you can't play rook c2 right away. You have to be a little bit subtle about it. Now rook d8 would at least give him some chance but he played this. And now rook c2. And uh, he can exchange rooks in optimal fashion. King e1. Now you might say, why not the same as before, right? Why not takes and b4? Now his king is further up. That's why he moved his king first. So he can play a, b, and then king b5. And you're not in time to save your pawn. I'm too close. Right. Too close for comfort. He could try at rook d8 to try to get in there and give up a pawn. This is probably what I would do because I like to, you know, play as actively as possible. Even if it loses, I'm not going to lose where I can't move, you know, mm -hmm. and try to do something. But black's going to win with these two pawns. This is not fast enough or dangerous enough. I mean, if I need to, I can go sack my bishop for it. All right. You know, something like that. <clears throat> So he played king e1, and then b4 x-clam. Nice. The bishop on b3 and the pawn on b4 form a wall against white's king. And even this guy's helping too, so the king's kind of stuck. This allows the black king to calmly march to a4 or c4 and enter white's position. Which is what happens. 
That poor bishop. It is kind of sad <clears throat> to see a bishop neglected so badly. I mean, he can't do anything. Now White has an unpleasant decision to make. Has to either move the bishop to lose the pawn, or move the king to allow Black's king in. I, I would move the king, and that's what he did. All right, but it looks like uh, still some work is needed, right? Like, let's say we play the normal move king a1. But then he'll play bishop g2. We're not attacking this pawn anymore. All right, that's true. Or if we, like, go here and then king a1, he'll play king c2 because our bishop's not controlling both squares. So it seems like black might not have a, an easy way to win here. But black actually does have a really strong move. A very strong move to... Zugzwang, the opponent. Maybe you can find it. Okay. Um... Well, you can't really resign this position yet, uh, Joe Adam, because Black still has to prove the win. I mean, obviously it's a loss, but Black has to prove that it's winning, and if Black can't make progress, then he, he won't win. Let's see. Guys in the chat want B3. That actually seems pretty good. I was looking at B3, but it's still... Not yet Zugzwang, but that yeah. will Zugzwang, won't it? Because uh, if I play bishop g2, you'll play bishop here. Mm -hmm. Then I'll go back. Then you'll make some move. So that will eventually Zugzwang. But you can actually Zugzwang right now. Um... Where he's got no move. And actually, somebody in the chat Couldn't did you say go that. Um, like bishop d1? Now you're talking. And then if king takes, then you you can take the b pawn with your king, and then bring it on, bring it on in. Exactly right. Mm -hmm. This force is a queen. He can't stop you. He can't stop you from playing b3, king a1, a2, a, uh, b2, b1. So bishop d1 is the this is Zugzwang immediately. Mm-hmm. The guy, he could move his b-pawn and lose it, or he could move his bishop, which is what he did. And then another Zugzwang resigns. White's poor bishop, as you would describe it, it was first entombed and now dominated. Tough but fair. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. We got another one here. Not sure how long you wanted to go on on this. Uh, yeah, well, we this. can go till probably just a natural stopping point. We can yeah, keep yeah. going. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this stream's. I mean, it's been really a long that, stream. It's not really that long. It's just two and a half hours. Well, it's not that long for me because you know I wasn't here. <laughs> you know, it's fine because this. If I were still playing jazz, I'd be tired. But this is you know, a different activity. That's true. All right, black to play. <clears throat> this is from the World Youth Championship, 1999. The players, I can't pronounce their names, and I don't think I've heard of them. Hmm. Well, maybe. Kujo Kujovic? Looks a little familiar, but I don't know. Hmm. The other guy, Stride Stridejeki. Stridejeki. It's probably not how you pronounce it. <laughs> hmm. One might think that things are not so bad for white, since material's even. And black's king is no better than white's. However, this evaluation drastically changes after black's next move. So what do you think that move's going to be? Um, let's see. Next move. Any uh, suggestions? I was looking at bishop c5. Hitting that pawn. 
or um, Bishop H6. Hitting but, that pawn. Yeah. Well, let, let me ask you a different question, although similar. Mm -hmm. If it was White's turn, what would White do? Um, White would get his king going, maybe. Oh, don't forget the theme of this oh, yeah, position. Oh, yeah, trapping in a pace. Yeah, you, I mean, I'm pretty sure you could tell this bishop might get trapped. Oh, yeah. can hardly move. I forgot the theme. <laughs> so with that oh, in yeah. mind, white would play white. Oh, yeah, so... Oh, well, I mean, now I can see bit what black would do. Oh, what would black do, then? Um, Probably bishop a3. Exactly right. Yeah. Otherwise, we will escape with our bishop. Mm-hmm. Even still, not great for white. But bishop a3, yeah. now the bishop's dead. It can't move at all without hanging itself. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, white's bishop is stuck on the uninspiring a1 square. It seems that black's bishop isn't doing much either. The fact that it can leap into action on c1 or anywhere in a flash while white's bishop is useless, that's really what's causing white's downfall here. I mean, if I want to, I can move my bishop. You can't. Right. Now they'll bring their kings up. That's what you normally do in the endgame. Also losing is to play with e4. She might try this because, uh, you know, it shuts out the king a little bit from entering the position. Mm-hmm. Now he gives two variations. H4... King e6. As soon as the pawns move to dark squares, the black's king black's king rushes over to the other side of the board. Because now you can't do anything over here. Like, if you take and take, the king can't enter. Right. So he doesn't need his king over here anymore. He's just going to go over there. Mm -hmm. For example, g5, king d6, king e2, king c5, king d2, king b5, king c2, king a4. Yeah, tummy's rumbling. Bishop, I was wondering whose tummy that was. I think it was sure. I think so too. <laughs> Bishop c5. Where now this move is decisive and unstoppable. Oh, yeah. I hate when the move is both decisive and unstoppable. <laughs> You're like, oh. <laughs> so h4, g5, that's not the right defense, but well, everything loses, it doesn't matter. King g3, now he's allowing us to play king g5. If h4 check, we'll do the same thing we just saw. So maybe a better try is gh. Easy stuff. Mainly, etc. So you can't set up some sort of fortress there with white. It's not going to work out. He stepped his king up instead. Placing the pawns on a dark square doesn't seem right, but he's, it's sort of like Zugzwang, right? He, in this position, you obviously can't move your bishop or these pawns, and if you move your king, my king will step up. And so he plays h4 because it's like the only thing to do, although that also is bad to put your pawns on dark squares. Um, some variations might be king f3, king f5, check, king g5, king g3, check, here, bishop c1. Zugzwang. King here is the next move, unless you hang your bishop. Also, instead of e4 check, king e2, e4, king f2, king g5, king g3, bishop c1, check, king f5. Now you'll have to defend your pawn, letting me go here and win. So he played h4 here, bishop c1, king d5, and after king b5 he already resigned. White didn't want to experience the horror of king d1, bishop f4, bishop b2, at least he's getting his bishop out, but we even stopped bishop a3, how irritating is that? 
bishop e3. By the way, bishop g3 ends the game, he says. But he would have played this to dominate the bishop. Yeah, I mean, your only legal move is here now. Everything else loses the bishop. Well, then I guess we take and play king here. We already shouldered him out. Enough is enough, he says. So the guy resigned, uh, you know, around... <laughs> or he resigned already here, even. Nice. Market Sand says, <laughs> sweet music when I heard Spencer turn the page. <laughs> like Bob Seger, turn that page. All right, one last example, I guess. Yeah, make one more and then we can stop. How long is this chapter? Uh, you know, it's pretty large mm -hmm. and in charge. You know, it's got several parts to it. And then he talks about, like, world champions and stuff, too, like Lasker and So it's kind of Rubenstein. a wrap-up. Yeah, well, it's just for pure pleasure, Kappa Blank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a long one. Oh, okay. It's a long one. We even have another section before we get there. All right. All right, one more uh, example here of domination or entombment. Kind of a tough word to say. Entombment? Yeah. Well, I think the B is silent. So it makes it a little bit easier. Well, that, that may be. <laughs> that may be the case. <clears throat> well, how do you say the word T-O-M-B? Tomb. Say it again. <laughs> I was trying to like half say the B <laughs> so you couldn't tell if I was silent or not. I guess um, tomb with no B. Tomb yeah. I think kind of like the word dumb. What about lamb? <laughs> <laughs> or hamb? <laughs> Ham. That's my favorite skit from Tim and Eric, not that you watch that show. But one of the actors in that skit... Karen Black. Oh, really? Yes, yes. Karen Black. Ben would be so happy to hear that. Yes. Yeah, I love Hamb. Hamb. <laughs> yeah, well, we don't know what um, Dr. X, X Masizi, we don't know <laughs> what the next book is yet, but it's going to be Middle Game Studies. I actually did Google some books, and we may not even do a book because Spencer has a lot of his own lessons, but we'll see. We'll, we'll know soon. So here's some guy against another guy uh, from 1990. Black might be uh, it, it, Peters, Jack Peters. It might be him because it says Peters. <laughs> Although it should say Peters, Jack. It's got to like be Peter. Form. Maybe he just finally realized if we've done the whole book, we don't. he doesn't even need to say his whole name. Maybe. Mm. Maybe, maybe. Uh, it only took one move to make White resign. Bishop E5. You like doing the book, Dr. X Miss Easy? I do too. I think it's been fun to do a book. I can't really no. do it by myself, but it's as a group, it's more fun to me. Bishop F2, White resigned. Uh, Bishop F2 is a move to consider. A5 doesn't help much. We just take it. Yeah, just take it. And then, he, you know, he got this hanging. B4 is the same. And moving the king won't uh, be palatable. So bishop f2. Here. There. Oh, if it's like following the other bishop. Yeah. Then. Bishop h2. Zugzwang. Any move leads to material loss. So white could resign here, but he resigned earlier. For example, bishop g1, you take, and any king move, actually any legal move you take here, right? I guess except that. <laughs> I found a legal move where you wouldn't take. But other than b4, every other legal move, you just take it. So back in the position, go back one or two. There's one more, go back. Um, okay, so if they go bishop e1. Here? Yeah, go forward. Oh, so what if you... Oh, I guess you got to move. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and keep going. Okay. So now if you go back. To F2. Yeah. Um, what happens? Well, I would guess we take and go to H3. Oh, it gets in. Shouldering you out. Yeah. Okay. Then mm -hmm. it will win the G pawn. 
But that was a, a defense to consider. Does Silman have a middle game book? Well, he has reassess your chess, or as I like to call it, reassess your chess s. Your what? Chess s. Chess s. Yeah, reassess your chess s. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's mostly about middle games, I believe. Although yeah. I haven't read it. Uh, yeah, somebody else was recommending that book. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what book yet, but um, we'll figure. Well, we one still out. got plenty of this book left. Oh yeah, we got lots of stuff. At least left. three or four more streams, I would say, minimum. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I did hear reassess your chest was good, so that's a possibility, for sure. I think I may have that book somewhere too. So cheap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then you probably got you could implement some of your own lessons too. Certainly. Not that you didn't have in-game stuff, but the Silman is known to be pretty comprehensive. So I think it was, it's was it been good to follow that. I'll still have to teach you about Bishop at Night, though, after we're Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I agree with that because the crowd demands it. The crowd has rights, <laughs> as far as I know. Yeah, even if we, you know, can't quite get it. The, we can practice it on chess.com, too. So... I believe you. We've done some opening repertoire market sins, um... And we may return to that eventually. Mm -hmm. Since I'm not a Twitch partner, my vid videos only stick around for about two weeks. But if you go to the Chess Club YouTube channel, they're all there. Yep, I posted them. <laughs> Thumbnails yeah. and everything. Tons of <laughs> tons of opening mm -hmm. repertoire. Yeah, we talked about the French, yeah. Petrov, Carol Kahn, uh, Queen's Gambit Declined, London. What else? King's Indian. I remember we did a long one about King's Indian. I was mm -hmm. just rattling off variations really fast. <laughs> Gingy. The Gingy Indian. I forgot about that. B3. We talked yeah. about B6. Oh, we did a lot of openings, actually. Yeah, that would be fun to be able to, to do a bishop and knight checkmate. I know it's not practical, but somebody pointed out they thought it would be helpful in the middle game to coordinate the pieces that way. So maybe. <laughs> All the openings that you don't play, Ivy Star, what do you play? <laughs> well, there are a lot of openings. That's true. We picked, like, some of the most famous ones. Yeah. Well, we didn't do the Benoni, which is a specialty of mine, just because I did that series on our channel about Right. It. Yeah, that's, so that didn't make sense to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Bong Cloud opening. Um... I don't know a lot of theory <laughs> there. You'd think I would, but... Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, there are probably some other... That one has a cool name. Bong Cloud, but um, probably some other openings that are more important. <laughs> <laughs> Than intentionally playing badly on right. <laughs> Yeah, probably. But, um, well, I think we should probably end the stream. I Wrap am it up. a little tired, so I'm not going to play any viewers today like I normally do. At the Who end are we going to Oakland raid? I don't know. I wish Ben were on the stream and he could tell me. Which of our people might be on the front page? Because we had a, I don't think any of them are. Can I just look on my phone, and it'll tell, it'll show me who's on the front page? Maybe if they're up near the top. If that's how it works. It would. The choices would be, AKA Nimsko. Uh, no, it doesn't actually. She's do not that. even doing chess right now, so it wouldn't be her. Disco. Or Botez Live, they're doing party animals. <laughs> or Rosen, and then there was some other guy that I didn't know. Yeah, thank you for coming, Star Princess. The chess bras are streaming. I do love the chess bras. I like them, too. Not going to lie. I just, as part of being on the Twitch front pages, they wanted me to raid other people that were part of the program, and there were only a few of us. But I can't access the document for some reason that has the schedule today. And so I don't know. Did you see anybody on there? I don't think that I can see the front page on your phone. Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, well, I saw some stuff, but nobody was a chess player. It did, It doesn't look the same as it does on a browser, so I don't know. Oh, I agree. I didn't agree. know that it was the front page. Oh, know. let me just look real quick. Um, oh, thanks for the one bit, Jay Cheatham. Yeah. If you can't beat him, Cheatham. <laughs> Thank you, Jay Cheatham. All right, let me just look real quick, because I don't want to not be... Follow the rules. I was so happy. Come on, don't follow the rules. I was don't so happy the that they included me in the program. And I think you just go to browse, don't you? No, just go to the top left and click the button, the Twitch button. Oh, yeah. this one? Oh, okay. There you go. Um, yeah, you could click those arrows to see who else is up there. Oh, right here? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that's right. There we right. go. Yeah, okay, that guy's not a chess dude. 
See how far down we None have to get. None of these are. Oh, wait, wait. That was chess. It was? Oh. No, you passed it. Why do you keep doing that? Go back to the right. To the right? Yeah, one. There you go. Just click submit because you're over 20. Oh, my goodness. It Where just, is... Go back. Okay. Now click submit because it just has to say that you're over 21. Uh, how are you knowing that it's chess, though? Because it said chess for like a second. Oh. It said chess for like one second. Oh, okay. It, it tricked you into picking a non-date. I don't think that one was... I think it was. Relevant. No, I, I think it think was. So. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, anyways, it seems like none of these people are okay. doing chess. Okay. Well, maybe they're not. All right. Well, well then I think we're going to have to raid... Um, what about at the bottom there? Oh, thanks for the 500 bits, Dr. Christmas Easy. Thank you, Dr. You Xmas it? Easy. It could be it Christmas. Be Christmas. Wow. Um, <laughs> where are you telling me to go? Yeah, there, at the bottom. Just those people. Oh, live channels you think we would No, I'm, I'm just saying those two dudes at the bottom, oh, we to, could raid them. Oh, to raid. Oh, okay. Those would be good people to raid. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh, I, I see. like that. I see who I'm going to raid. Cause, right. um I do. I love chess bras mm -hmm. um, very much. But I'm not going to raid them. I am going to instead... Ben is going to stream at 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So... I gotta raid my f my other people that I like. That's right. Make sure I got it spelled right. Thank you guys so much for coming. Bye everyone. See you next time. Love you guys. Take it easy. Don't forget to follow all you new people. Do that. And um, see you. Bye.